Um, it's so nice to be here up in Edinburgh, and I tell you what, it's so nice doing comedy at all. Like, stand-up has completely changed my life for the better. Like, I used to be just like a regular drunk woman, and <laughs> like, now I don't need to shout at strangers anymore. I've got amplification. <laughs> I, I don't piss in the street anymore. I can wait until I'm in the privacy of my own taxi. And, <laughs> And if I want to hate myself in the morning, I don't need to go to bed with one of you. I can just end this bit without a punchline. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. I, um, the drinking thing is quite interesting, right? Because I, I read this study that Boston University did about happiness, and they said that the happiest people drank no more than three glasses of wine a day. <laughs> what? I spill more wine than that a day. <laughs> Who are these underdrinkers, and why do they have nothing to forget? <laughs> I don't think it's a fair study, because I think that alcohol reacts differently with different people, doesn't it? Like, so for some people, wine makes them giggly, some people it makes you sleepy, it makes me do shots. <laughs> That's genetics. And because I don't want to have to change my behaviour, instead I've decided to feel sorry for these happy people because they're not going to get any of the adventures, are they? Like, they'll never go night swimming, they'll never be sick on themselves without noticing, <laughs> they'll never do the walk of shame going home in last night's clothes, they'll never do the queue of shame waiting for Greg's to open. <laughs> They'll never do the look of shame, a double take in the mirror when I thought I saw my mother. <laughs> I try not to look in the mirror very often because I do not want to care what I look like. And it's so impossible because there's all this focus on women's appearances, especially in Essex, where I come from. I think grooming's gone too far. Like, Jodie Marsh has crossed the line from fake tanning into blacking up. <laughs> but that is now offensive. And I don't understand the false eyelashes thing either. I don't get it. Like, if I want my face to be hairier, I just don't pluck my chin. <laughs> I believe, right, men and women, we're the same. All of us, we're remembered for our achievements, not what we looked like while we were doing stuff. So, Florence Nightingale, she invented nursing. Who cares if she had a muffin top? Or um, <laughs> Mary Curie. She discovered radium and polonium. Who cares if she glowed in the dark? <laughs> Ladies, sometimes we can waste all of this energy hating ourselves when we should just be concentrating on our work, like men do. Like, they're not worrying about cellulite, are they? They're too busy getting paid more in every single career <laughs> that you don't have to take your clothes off. Hello. Thanks. It's been so lovely to see you. My name's Sarah. Good night.